Good morning, everybody. It is, what is it? Wednesday, November 13th, 10 a.m. I'm going to go ahead and call to order the License Berries Board meeting for this date. My name is Roy Acri. I'm the fire chief here in the city of Smyrna. To my left is Frank Martin, the director of public works. And to his left is Mary Moore, the director of the Smyrna Library. In front of Frank and Mary, we have Tina Monahan and Mary Arvin, who are here for the official meeting minutes. Um, looks like we've got in, in formal business, we've got about nine agenda items. The first one is public hearing V19-050 to reduce front porch setback from 10 feet to 9.8 feet. Land lot 809-2760 Bell Drive for weekly homes. Do we have a representative for weekly homes? If you could please step to the podium, sir. Good morning, if you could state your name for the record. Good, good morning for the record. My name is Park Suff with the law firm of Sam's Larkin and Huff. I'm standing in for Mr. Sam's who could not be here. He's in D.C. at that other hearing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so um, good to have you here with us this morning. Um, it, as I'd mentioned, we've got um, nine items and they are all um, your clients. Um, and they're all very, very similar. Uh, we have a mix of some front porch setback and we have some front building lot setback and then one with a side building lot setback. So as you're aware, we have to hear these and vote on these individually, but if you'd like, just kind of summarize for the board what it is, you know, in, in total, um, you know, the, what, what the differences between the three and, and, and what spawned this and we'll go from there. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate it and I'll be glad to, to combine them in, in, in a presentation and then answer you know specific questions about each each case it is one building uh and the uh david weekly homes is you know very careful in having their surveyors survey as they do the foundations and all that but in this case there was some miscommunication and 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 there was a an oops in that it was a little off and we were on the agenda last month um and one of the reasons why we had it tabled is is we wanted to make sure we were picking up everything because when you have a front setback and then you have a porch setback, they're they're both separate. So we needed to make sure we were picking up all, both of them. Also wanted to make sure the surveyors were picking up the actual, uh, not just the footing, but also the the facade, and make sure that that was that there wasn't any other oops that might come out. So we were we, that's the reason why we filed some additional variances, and so it's really one building that was poured slightly off uh, and the variances all relate to to that little shift in there uh, they're all minor i mean 10 point to 9.8 i mean the, the thing that i always like to point out on, on setback variances is that the point of setbacks is one is to be is a functional issue and that you want some separation and sometimes you want a parking area and all to be, but the other is visually, so that you have some visual things, and, and none of these variances are anything that you're going to see drive down the street and say, "Oh, it's 0.2 feet off." So visually, it's fine, and in terms of parking, that's all in the back. So this isn't that. So it's just how it relates to the road. The whole intent was to have the streetscape and everything relate to the road. So, the, so we're honoring that. As, as the front porch setback was different. Then the front setback it's showing that that we were supposed to be presenting to the street and having a nice streetscape and, and we have achieved that so uh, that that's it in a nutshell and it you know it's a very very minor we appreciate the staff and, and how they went through each one and and diligently um, reviewed them and, and we ask that you approve the variances as we've asked for and um, we hope that the surveyors and everybody communicates well next time and we don't have any other oopses <laughs> uh and so uh, appreciate your time and again be able to answer any specific questions about each individual one do we have any questions at this time for the applicant okay thank you sir we have none at this time so i would uh call up from community development uh, miss caitlin crow miss right. crow same thing just kind of surmise um you know for us uh, from a staff perspective Thank All right. you. Perfect. Um, well, good morning. Caitlin Crow, Planner One Community Development. Um, so these are variances V19-050 through V19-058. So there are nine different variances for the same townhome building. The addresses are for 2760 
2762, 2764, 2766, and 2768 all on Bell Drive. So the subject property is a brand new townhome building um, that was done during rezoning. Um, for this rezoning, um, the building front back was set at 15 feet and the porch front setbacks and side setbacks were both set at 10 feet. When the concrete foundation was poured after permitting, the building and port setbacks did encroach um, into these, ranging from about 0.2 feet to maximum of 1.4 feet. Um, so the double frontage lots do make it a little difficult to maintain the measurements while still maintaining the 22 foot required driveway. In addition, we did need to take in um, consideration any facade materials that are going to be put on the exterior of these buildings. So each lot has been properly posted. There's no site distance issues. Um, as the applicant has stated, these are fairly minor and not fully visible um, to the public eye if you're just driving by. So after reviewing the variance application, staff does support each request and does recommend approval to reduce the front building setbacks, front porch setbacks, as well as the one front, or excuse me, the one uh, building side setback. And with that, I'd be happy to answer any questions. And so it's just my understanding that um, with the staff recommendation, there are no conditions officially because it's essentially as built, right? That is okay. correct, yes. Gotcha. Any questions for staff? Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Crow. This is a public hearing. If there's anybody here that'd like to speak on behalf of V19-050, I'd ask that you would step forward at this time. Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion. I make a motion to approve B19-040. Porch front setback from 10 feet to 9.8 feet land lot. 809-2760 Bell Drive Weekly Homes, LLC. Second. We do have a motion to approve. It's been seconded. If there's, any, if there's not any further discussion, I'll call for a vote. Motion passes unanimously. Next time on the agenda is V19-053, reduced front porch setback from 10 feet to 8.6 feet land lot 809-2762 Bell Drive for Weekly Homes LLC. Um, sir, do you have anything else to add? Ms. Crow, anything else to add? Any questions for either staff or the app? Speak on behalf of V19-053, I'd ask that you step forward now. Please let the record state that um, the only people in the room are the applicant, the applicant's representative, and staff. Seeing no one come forward, I'll entertain a motion. Zero five three reduce porch setback from nine two seven six two Bell Drive Weekly Homes LLC applicant. Second. We have a motion approved. It's been properly seconded. A call for a vote. Motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is B19-054, reduced building front setback from 15 to 14 feet, land lot 809-2764, Bell Drive for Weekly Homes, LLC. Either the applicant's representative or staff, do you have anything to add for this one? Any questions for staff or applicant? This is a public hearing. If, you have, if you're here to speak on behalf of B19-054, I'd ask that you step forward at this time. Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve V19054 reduce front set, setback from 15 feet to 14 feet, land lot 809 2764 Bell Drive, Weekly Homes. Second. We have a motion to approve. It's been properly seconded. If there's no further discussion, we'll call for a vote. Motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is. B19-055, reduce, reduce front porch setback from 10 to 9.4 feet, land lot 809-2764, Bell Drive, Weekly Homes, LLC. If there's no additional input from the staff or the applicant or no questions. Um, this is a public hearing. If you're here to speak on behalf of B19-055, I ask you to step forward now. Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion. 
Move to approve V19-055, reduce porch front setback from 10 feet to 9.4 feet, land lot 809-2764, Bell Drive, Weekly Homes, LLC. Second. Motion approved has been properly second. I call for vote. Motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is V19-056, reduced building front setback from 15 to 14.6, land lot 809-2766, Bell Drive Weekly Homes. I feel like I'm getting a good lesson in speed talking this morning. <laughs> if there's no further input from staff or the applicant, do you have any questions for either? It says a public hearing asks if you're here to speak on behalf of V19-056, I'd ask you to step forward at this time. Seeing none, entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve V19056, reduce building front setback from 15 feet to 14.6 feet, land lot 809-2766, Bell Drive, Weekly Homes. Second. I have a motion to approve. It's properly second. If there's no further, I'll call for a vote. Motion passes. Excuse me, motion passed unanimously. Next item on the agenda is V19-057, reduce building front setback from 15 to 14.3 feet, land lot 809-2768, Bell Drive, Weekly Homes, LLC. Any questions any further? Um, this is a public hearing. If you're here to speak on behalf of V19-057, I'd ask you to step forward at this time. Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve V19-057, reduce building front setback from 15 feet to 14.3 feet, land lot 809-2768, Bell Drive, Weekly Homes, LLC. Second. I have a motion to approve this properly, second. If there's no further, I'll call for a vote. Motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is V19-058, reduce front porch, I'm sorry, reduce porch front setback from 10 feet to 9.8, land lot 809-2768, Bell Drive Weekly Homes. If there's no input or questions, um, this is a public hearing. If you're here to speak on behalf of V19-058, I'd ask you to step forward now. Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve V19058, reduce Porch front setback from 10 feet to 9.8 feet, land lot 809 2768, Bell Drive, Weekly Homes. I think you read the wrong one. Did I? Did you read the wrong one? Was that uh, B19058? Yeah. That's the right one. Oh. B19058. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do we have a second? Second. Motion to approve B19058. It's been properly seconded. If there's no further, I'll call for a vote. Yeah, I lost track a minute ago, too. Here, <laughs> this is hard. Motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is V19-051, reduced building front setback from 15 to 14.6 feet, land lot 809-2760, Bell Drive, Weekly Homes. This is a public hearing. If you're here to speak on behalf of V19-051, I'd ask that you step forward at this time. Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion. Make a motion to pass V19-051, reduce building front setback from 15 feet to 14.6 feet, land lot 809-2760, Bell Drive, Weekly Homes, LLC. Second. Motion to approve the variance has been seconded. If there's no further, I'll call for a vote. Motion passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is V19-052, reduced building side setback from 10 feet to 9.7, land lot 809-2760, Bell Drive, Weekly Homes, LLC. This is a public hearing. If you're here to speak on behalf of V19-052, I'd ask that you step forward at this time. Seeing no one, I'll entertain a motion. I make a motion to approve V19-052, reduced building side setback from 10 feet to 9.7 feet, land lot 809 2760 Bell Drive, Weekly Homes. Second. Motion approved has been properly seconded. If there's no further, I'll call for a vote. <coughs> Motion passes unanimously. That is all nine with formal business. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Last item on the agenda is 4A, 2019-419, uh, approval of the October 23rd, 2019 License Variance Board meeting minutes. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes? I make a motion to approve 
2019-419, approval of the October 23, 2019 License and Variance Board meeting minutes. Second. The motion to approve the minutes has been seconded. Uh, if there's no further, I'll call for a vote. Motion passes unanimously. That is it for the agenda. I'll declare this meeting adjourned at 1015. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I think auctioneer might be a, a, a second night, night position time. <laughs>